Creep sir. Dark. Creep Dark. What can I do for you, Warlock? Give me good stuff, Creep Dark. The old fashioned kinetic weapon. Ooh, I'll take it. Okay. This actually makes me want to go over to the gunsmith and possibly purchase some stuff. Let's get you back out there. Or not really purchase, but just use up the faction reward. Oh, he gave me an emblem. That's nice. Did I get what I needed? We got a hand cannon at 245. I'm trying to get a power weapon that I can replace this with. This is, like, is alright, I suppose. And then we slap on a different damage mod onto it. We really don't have that many of these extra things, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Slightly increased projectile speed. You'll have less velocity, but more blast radius, which is sometimes better. Okay. Now for this, I think we'll go for... Arc damage. Actually, what's my hand cannon at right now? Oh wait, we're gonna be using Void here, so yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, this needs to be solar. For all those enemies, I'm gonna blast with it. There we go, solar damage. It's nice that we can change the damage types out a little bit more easily. As long as it's not an exotic! As long as it's not a kinetic weapon, kinetic weapons aren't allowed to have this stuff. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Look at that super increased reload speed. I'm fine though. Accurate hand cannon sight. Or we could go for the fast draw. I wish we could see a little bit of a preview, but oh well. Ooh, I can give it a a shader, make it look a little bit better. I kind of look of I like kind of like the looks of Fromius Blue, but that's a actually a pretty good shader. So we'll go for something else. I just want it to be kind of a more... Yeah. A cool looking gun. We'll go for this. Nice. Okay. We've got a legendary hand cannon. And we've re-equipped the Graviton Lance. Which won't be doing any super amazing things against we the enemies the on we'll do the same to Titan. Comes next. But, oh well. We don't always need to be doing the elemental damage type of their shields. Gosh, guys. All right, we are back on Titan. And of course, there's a public event here, and I love my public events. I love my public events. All right. They keep on leveling us up. We are slowly, slowly building ourselves forward. We'll wait for anybody to kind of get over here. Because having a little bit of extra help is always nice. Okay, now well, we can check our gear a little bit more. Oh, of course, we have a 240 armor thing. It's fine, we'll just keep it on standby. Weapons are strange. I just need one more person over here. I mean, I don't need one more person over here. I can start this up on my own. Look at those caches. They never learn. Then teach them a new lesson. This gun kicks pretty hard, honestly. I mean, not, not, not like the, whoa, we're flying upwards, but in terms of like the way it sounds and the way it moves, it feels like I'm doing a lot. Damn well better it shoots little mini black holes. But apparently only the third one's really good. Alright, let's get some chaining damage. Stay out here a little bit. Are we getting reinforcements? We're not getting reinforcements. Oh, we tried to do the anti- Oh, there was a- There were a hive around it, that's why. Look at all the people there! Oh, jeez. Okay, let's get some charges planted. And then fucking die because you have enemies shooting at me. Oh, I didn't pick it up? Oh, shit. No, oh, no. Hey! Yep, just, uh, punching everything before I die. Okay. 
Did I leave? I didn't get it out. Fuck! This is why I want a little bit of help. Something to distract of everything around would be fantastic. Did it drop more? Oh, well, that's good. And I'm gonna be the only one running them, more than likely. Deposit them into the big old box. There we go. Hey, somebody deposited one over here. Good for- Ow! I was gonna say, yay. Good for us. We I have a few competent team members. Ow. Somebody killed a high value target. I don't know where they were. That's all the cannons. You know what that means. Okay, let's get some action going here. Some intense explosions. Dude, we don't even have a half of itself now. I mean, we pretty much have just blown it, but we could have had a lot more. Can you go away? I'm busy blowing up your tanks. God. It's explosion almost knocked me back a good, good bit. Yeah, we got like three scorch cannons blasting away at this thing. Ooh, four! Holy shit! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> I got launched away too far. Oh shit! Two walkers. How do you like that, Fallen? Oh wait, can't An extremely successful sortie, as I've come to expect from you. Well done, again. Okay. All right, people, don't do this to two for two. I'm reviving you. Ha! <sighs> All right. I hear a patrol vegan. Ooh, we got young Steezy rally the flag. Oh yeah, there was like a alcane thing over here. There it is. Now we can go off and continue the adventure. As well as I always say, right? <laughs> So what other things do we still have? Gather 10 arcane dust. Defeat 75 fallen enemies. Well, maybe this will be a fallen mission. Right, last one was Hive. We had to deal with the little ritual thing. Ah, this one might be fallen. Knock him about a little bit. Teach him a lesson. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's in the title of the mission. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And how long until this comes around? Two minutes. Okay. That gives us enough time to look around a little bit. Might as well take the free super from it. Okay. Where is the adventure start? Where does the adventure start, rather? Here we go. It's all the way on the other side. More alkane dust. It's for my challenges, guys. What is this? Ooh, gather. Gather, 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 gather. Our enemies have been losing whatever they could get their hands on. I need you to recover what they've stolen. What are we killing for that? Artifacts from the deep. Eliminate hive. Oh, alright. I think I saw the green lights of a loot chest somewhere close by, but maybe I'm tripping.
Well, this is a good mission to have for uh, the public event that we're about to do. Oh boy. I apologize to the people who don't like watching the public events happen. But in the last Let's Play, I kind of cut out a shitload of the grinding. Just an absolutely ton of content was cut out. Uh, because I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna do all this stuff off screen. And so we'd like cut and I'd be, you know, a good portion higher. People would be like, but how and why? And some of that was kind of someone on them. Like, if I did a raid, I did all the raids. Some people didn't know that. Or they knew that, but they didn't see that I had a uh, playlist for all of them. Hive ritual activity, Guardian. Up for it? You've handled this before. So I'd say that's a little bit of a mix. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, a little bit on my fault, a little bit on their fault for not looking hard enough. A little bit of my fault for not having everything in one master playlist really until uh, now. Spot. The hive do require precise conditions for their rituals. But for like all the other stuff where I'd like do strikes and things like that. I did cut out a lot of that, mostly because, like, repeating the strikes, I think, is a different thing entirely. That's like repeating something over and over and over again for hours upon hours upon hours. Whereas the public events, they're just kind of happening while we're still doing, like, adventures and things like that. That's the main reason why I'm treating it a little bit differently. Hold up, just make sure to grab my patrol items. Oh, hi. The last one. Zavala will be in a good mood. Although, that might be wishful thinking. <laughs> that might be wishful thinking. Uh, okay, I try to... I try to light it up preemptively. It was bad timing. Oh, quite. I'm getting lit up here. Sorry, Buster Nut. I think I have to stay on the circle in order to kill these, kill these guys. It's hard to tell. I haven't tried. I'm not doing that. Okay, that's one side down. So I'll give you a little level, this guy. We only have a level 20 in here. He knows what it's about. Portal destabilized. Ready? Here comes the big man. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta reload. If only I had a faster reload thing, that'd be nice. Please don't pop up me. Please do not pop up on me. There he goes. I just want to do intense levels of amplified damage. Okay? Oh boy. Ammo, but that's alright. We lit him up pretty hardcore. Holy shit, look at all that. Another day, another night. Another demoralizing defeat for the hive. I've lost count of your victories, but I know there will be many more. Okay. Did another heroic. Because, you know, these are these are pretty easy to obtain. And we got the person, the rather the flag one. I leave to serve myself, usually. Also, if I can get another chest, that could. Wait! Come back! <laughs> Making sure he gets the chest. Because sometimes, sometimes you gotta help a brother out. They might be looking the wrong way, or they died and just, just weren't over there, anyways. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I want the chest. Not the, not the patrol. Thank you. Whew. Damn. Blew him up in the void and sent his body into the ocean. It was poor. <laughs> poor Fallen. Speaking of which, let's go kill some Fallen. It's for a mission. What do we have here? Deathless. Clear out the night that's keeping Sloane's crew from their work. Oh, it's a hive one. Never mind then. Good, it's you. I'm getting reports from Holiday's crews about a night with a strange aura around it. It's playing merry hell with our schedule. My crews know how to get her done, Sloane. Regular maintenance is the difference between a sparrow that races and a sparrow that rests. Sure, but this rig isn't winning any races. That knight is in my way. Take it out. <laughs> yeah, this rig is definitely pretty busted up. But it could win a race if it, like, drifts around. I don't know how far down the understructure of this goes. Oh, there it goes. Eliminate the knight. Takul Da, the unbreakable. Oi! Can you, like, stop having an immune barrier around you? Are you gonna lead us around exactly where you're... Being saved from? Necromantis. Oh! What? We took out the knife, but I'm not sure it's dead. Some kind of magic allowed it to escape. New hive spells. Just what we need. Get after it, you two. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, uh... This is just irritating. Now I know how the Cabal feel about us. Right? I'm not in the mood for this. Keep after him. Their spell can't keep that thing safe forever. Or they can. I mean, we don't know where their power is coming from with this. Still, we'll try. Oh, what do we have to do to kill this thing? Find the source. That's usually the hope. You know, it's even more annoying to do with these guys because, like, we have to kill the the wizard and then kill the knight. That's like if the ghost was a little bit bigger and floated around us. And that was the only way we could die. If it died, and then they shot at us anyways. It's just two steps of nothing. I've been fighting Hive for... Well, longer than I want to admit. This is some kind of ritual. They're losing on purpose? Like, what? Throwing a hand of poker? Maybe. What's their goal, though? Why let this thing die over and over again? Sword logic? I don't know. <laughs> the logic that they, they follow where the strongest things are the ones that deserve existence. If you die, you didn't deserve to exist. And so by dying over and over and over again, they increase his strength or increase all of their strengths? Ah, I'm just guessing at this point. I don't even know their sword logic completely. I have like cursory knowledge of it because of Oryx. That's how Oryx got so powerful. Oh, he has two Necromantis this time. Good for you. Still doesn't keep you from dying to sing a rocket blast. Urgh, got the devour. All right, that's three. Slow. You want us to keep going? is a ritual, then all of this is leading somewhere. I want the two of you there at the end, whatever that looks like. <laughs> You're asking a lot of us, but alright. It could end up being some incredibly scary ritual. Or they summon a being as big as the planet. Or even bigger. But... Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a guess that's not gonna happen. Yet. Yeah, did you see that? Oh. Hey! Wakey wakey! That's gonna shoot at us from behind. Oh boy. Oh yes. Of course. We have some runes to deal with. Ah, oh, Gatling gun shriekers. It's immune? Or... There we go. 
I'm like shooting it, it keeps on taking me in. I'm like, what the fuck? Seal's broken. Is the ghost still doing it or am I just supposed to kill everything? There's another shrieker right over here, right? Yes, there is. Oh boy. At least we can do crit damage to shriekers. We shoot the little eye thing in the middle of it, which I just noticed. That helps us out a little bit. Man, your dark magic really kind of screws you guys over here a little bit. The glowing green eyes in a pitch black room. Kind of makes you really obvious. Although, I have a gun that highlights targets, so it doesn't matter. It's kind of cheating in that way. Your darkness means nothing to me. Uh-oh. Alright, so if you, if you hit the outer shell, that's when it kind of messes up a little bit. Oh boy, we get to go further in here. Let's read up on the details of this. This is the way things were. So... Kill clip. Reloading after a kill grants increased damage. Ah. Alright. So kill, reload. Alright. One more time. And then do some cool shit. We have a rocket. I think we beat the patrol. Because we got two t tokens from that. End the night! Aye. We did it! You were right, Sloan. Buy enough firepower, and apparently even hive magic breaks. Good work, both of you. You know, Holiday and I were just talking about how different we are from the hive. Yeah, yeah. They worship death, we serve the light, good versus evil, black hats and white hats. <laughs> really makes you think. Thinking about switching sides, Amanda? Oh no. Amanda goes rogue and we'll have Thrall buzzing the control center inside of a week. <clears throat> but uh, let's get back to work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like the little music that kind of goes off sometimes. Just that meow, meow, meow. Things are creepy. And we can't go further than here. Okay. Well, that is everything on Titan for now. Uh, at least in terms of the adventures. There are other things that we can do. The lost sectors and the region chests. But we're going to save those for later, just in case they give us extra bonuses. So that means it's time for us to head over to Nessus, where we get to deal with our favorite enemies, the Vex. Oh boy. Alright. Did I get anything from this, by the way? I did get a Bright Engram. So, I can take a stop over at the, the tower to decrypt that, just for the sake of it. So let's head back to the tower. I really hate that they call it the Traveler. It, it, it trips me up because I'm like, oh, the Traveler uh, Tower. <laughs> Although to be fair, in Destiny One, the icon for the tower was the Traveler, but at least that kind of, you know, they didn't say Traveler when you highlighted it. It was just Tower every time. So there was still a little bit of the disconnect. Ah well. All right, what do we have, Tess? Welcome, Guardian. At least you can get bright engrams just from leveling up. Well, it's definitely, definitely, uh, fishy for monetized, monetized things to exist. Uh, at least you don't have to engage with it. Looking for anything All right. in particular, Guardian? Well, that reminds me, I need to equip some Nessus shells. Checks out. No I think we'll go for the 10% XP while Nessus. Nessus. Glimmer gains all right, too. I don't actually care about that as much. It's easy math, Guardian. You got the silver. Oh. Eververse has the goods. We got another rocket launcher. You will find a way. What does it do? Oh, let me check right don't get too distracted by the new setup, Guardian. 
Yeah, tracking rockets. Okay, well, we'll see what kind of enemies we run into. I don't particularly remember tracking what now. weaknesses they have for the Vex. I know the Minotaurs generally have Void Shield, so we're set with the Graviton Lance in that regard. So let's head on over to Nessus.